Okay, so together we're going to be able to solve question number 13. It's just asking us to find the area of a yard that's a rectangle. And they're telling us that a perimeter is equal to one thing, so figure out what the area is. So what they're asking us to do essentially is just figure out, okay, what is the length and what is the width? So if you look at it, it says the length of the yard is represented with L and it's 18 feet longer than the width. So I always would recommend just starting with the measurement that doesn't say, okay, this is 18 feet longer or 18 feet less. Start with the measurement that's just by itself, which is the width. And so for the width, I'm just gonna write W. We don't know what the width is yet, but then you can go ahead and do what the value of the length would be, which would be 18 feet longer than the width. So it would be the width plus 18. So the width is equal to W, and then the length is the width plus 18. So if we were to go ahead and label this rectangle, width and the width, and then it would be width plus 18 and width plus 18. So now let's go ahead and put the pieces together in order to find the perimeter. When you're trying to find the perimeter, you just add up all the sides. So you would do width plus width plus width plus 18, which is the length, plus width plus 18, which is the other length. And so we know that the perimeter would be equal to 72 feet. So we're going to set that all equal to 72. So let's go ahead and solve. We're going to combine like terms. So all the terms that have W in it are like terms. There's one, two, three, four W. So we end up with four W. And then we're going to go ahead and combine the constants or the numbers that are by themselves. And 18 plus 18 is 36. And we're just going to bring down the 72. So now we're just going to go ahead and solve for that W. The way we solve for the W is by getting everything on the opposite side of the W. So we're going to get rid of the 36 by subtracting 36 from both sides. And we're going to be left with 4W is equal to 36. And then we're going to divide both sides by 4. W is going to be equal to 9. So now we know that the width is equal to 9. So if the width is equal to 9, the length would be width plus 18, which would be 9 plus 18, which is equal to 27. Okay? So now we know what the length is, 27, and the width is 9. And so they're going to ask us again, what is the area of the yard? Area is equal to length times the width. So we're literally just going to do... Area equals length times the width. Area is going to be equal to 27 times 9. And 27 times 9, you can go ahead and put that into the calculator, is 243 feet squared. So the answer to this question would be C, 243.